drugs, alcohol, mental mm -hmm. health, uh, people getting out of prison, homelessness. I mean, there mm -hmm. is just, sometimes it feels insurmountable, mm -hmm. right. you know? Right. But I think when you start something like your group, Care Coalition, you feel as if you can make inroads one person at a time. Mm -hmm. That's right, one yeah. person at a time. That's all it takes, and at least you're doing something. Right. You're doing what you can do. Right. And we might not have all of the, we, we don't, we're not the ones who have created the resources, right. but we're pointing people That's in the right. direction. So we, can we vet them as far as tried and true testing them? No, right. but you know, we, we trust that those people who are coming forward with them, um, that they're of the background who you know, can make a good recommendation and that this is a solid, uh, place that they would recommend for someone to seek resources from. Now, do you want do you do you ask people to reach out to you um, if they have a story that they'd like to share? Because on absolutely. the website you have testimonials. Absolutely. I was on there. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. So if you're somebody absolutely. who has right who has a success story, we want to hear from you. Yeah. We and want, parents, because you know, I mm -hmm. could see this being a great outlet for families who have lost someone, mm -hmm. um, just yes. to share like a minute or so of who mm -hmm. that person is. Because in my head, I actually have this thing that I want to walk across America to raise awareness mm -hmm. of the stigma and what's going, I mean, we all hear about it, but I think sometimes we're so inundated with all the numbers and how many people. So what can we do to just yeah. bring it home that 72,000 people that have died, mm -hmm. that's a person. That's right. you know, how do we bring that home? So that's in the back of my head. Right. Like, I really do want to walk across America. And in my vision, uh, mm -hmm. I see pictures, you know, people holding up pictures of their loved ones mm -hmm. as we walk across. Yes. Wow. And that was just in one year, the 72 No, 000. it's an accumulation of years. It was, I think, the last seven, eight, maybe 10 years. That's how okay. many, I don't think 10, but that's how many people have died, maybe since mm -hmm. 2011. And you think of how many siblings and moms yes. and dads right. are uh, still suffering, suffering. That, you know? Absolutely, they're still suffering. Right. It's something I don't think people, you can't get over, you know. I so. think one of the more, speaking of testimonials, the more effective um, results of testimonials is when folks are watching those, someone that's embroiled in some type of issue at the moment, um, hears from somebody that went through a similar thing, mm -hmm. and maybe almost right. exactly right. the same mm -hmm. thing. Right. Mm -hmm. They can identify mm -hmm. with right. them mm -hmm. and, and say, "Well, this is where I am right now." Right. Mm -hmm. And that person isn't there anymore. That's right. What do they do? Right. right. That's and right. And what are they keep doing? That's right. Mm -hmm. To attend that. That's right. No, that that's a very good point. Mm -hmm. And I bet there are people that watch, you know, the testimonials that are on the website and probably reach out to you. Mm -hmm. Somehow, some way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because you know, when we have these bright ideas, these are aha moments, I always say, I'm not smart enough to think about this on my own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like when treatment, with working with people, it's God. I'm the vessel that He works through because I know I'm not that bright. Right. It's Him. Mm -hmm. I know it. Mm -hmm. And I'll take I'll take credit at times, <laughs> but really. Mm -hmm. And you know, when I hear you guys talk about, you have so much love for God and mm -hmm. what you're doing, mm -hmm. that it just yeah. resonates. Yeah, I mean, I think um, you touched on that too. I mean, we as individuals, we each feel the same way. We're not qualified to do this, mm -hmm. but nor equipped. Nor equipped. Yeah. That's but right. but the Lord has given us each a passion to do something. That's mm -hmm. right. And so we are trying to just follow that. Um, and also to get people's attention. Um, so what we do is we give out the bracelets at events, uh, friends, family, Love and uh, so uh, social media. So we're on social media, we're yeah, on Instagram, bracelets. we're right. on Facebook. That's right. And so we've got um, people taking photos Dude, of themselves with the bracelets. Nice. Mm -hmm. So we've reached um, Israel, and wow. Italy, and that's Aruba, and mm -hmm. so if people are the on Canary hikes Island, or that's walks, nice. or, you know, just mm -hmm. so many, Central Park, <laughs> and they send you the at picture. home yes. in our own neighborhoods, yeah. and so that, that's what reaches young people that's also, right. is social media. That's right. So what we're doing is just trying to have conversations, trying to be out there, right. trying to have visibility, mm -hmm. and just connect to people so that we'll bring the traffic to the website. and. Hopefully, bring more resources, right. more mm -hmm. expertise, 
and like you say, have the conversation so the stigma right. is not there. That's so people feel comfortable coming forward. Right. Because mm -hmm. I think that's what they're very people. vulnerable, mm -hmm. and they're and alone. If they feel like they're not going to be judged, and that they have, you know, someone who's loving at right. the other end of it and that's who's right. really caring, they're more likely to come forward Absolutely. for the help. And I think that's what we need to do as a country. We have to be Absolutely. more accepting, embracing mm -hmm. people where they are, non-judgmental, and just try to get people the help they need. Right. It's easier mm -hmm. said than done, but Absolutely. it's a great start. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's a great start. How many people come to the website? I'm just curious. Uh, Dominique holds that. Yes, <laughs> so, so um, yeah. Deanna's daughter, Dominique, she's been doing an incredible job with our social media and the w with the website. And Indispensable. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's really incredible young woman. And mm -hmm. um, so at each of our meetings, she tells us how many new really? um, people come Good. to the website, mm -hmm. new and unique users. Got she could it. tell the repeat users wow. and I've got our list service growing. So Total she has hits. those numbers. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, so she follows it for social media and mm -hmm. the website. Um, so she would be better able so, to speak so to that. But, but she does mm -hmm. report to us that it is growing. Good. And it is active, Good. continually mm -hmm. active. Good. So yeah. I can say That's that it open. is geometrically growing by what Dominique has conveyed to us. That's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's great. So when is do you have anything coming up that you'd like to tell the audience about? Anything coming up? There's like quite a there? few things that are up on the website that okay. we just posted. Okay. And but nothing that you just think of right now. Well our next hour of prayer there you yes. go. is the first Thursday in November. We okay. just had mm -hmm. October. November first. Um, so November is it November first mm -hmm. and um, it's Where at is it? the American Legion. American Legion Hall on Bell Road in East Chester. Okay. And it's open to anyone who yeah. wants to join us. And again it's um, you can just come as you are. You can just we just have a few of our members who are leading prayer. And um, so you pray along with us what silently. Uh, 7.30. Okay, 7.30, 7 thank you. 730. Yeah, 7.30 to 8.30. <laughs> Sometimes we have, um, oftentimes we'll have music and praise and worship nice. uh, to open up. And then we'll have guided prayer. And then after that, we open it up to if, you, if people want to say, you know, can you pray for my family Got member? It. Or, you know, some discussion right. or prayer. And they don't have to go to a church. They can go to the they Legion Hall, which here. is mm -hmm. non-threatening. Mm -hmm. Not that the church is threatening, but... Usually a time where we review our yep. prayer requests Got that it. have been submitted at festivals. Yes, so anonymously, th those prayer requests that come into the website, we will pray for those. And do you know our time is up? Wow. wow. Told you it went fast. <laughs> I want to thank you for being here, really. Thank you, thank thank you very brilliant. much, and thank you for so having much. the Care Coalition. And we just keep talking. Yeah. 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 Yeah.